Okay, Mark. Hey, welcome. Thank welcome to the much. show. Welcome to the show. Thank and we were just much. talking about, uh, well, I guess for context, for people watching, sure. this discussion is all around SEO. So we're going to discuss specific strategies that people can implement today to improve ranking on Amazon. Sounds like a plan. That's, I think that's a topic that uh, we all would like to hear about, this complex topic. <laughs> yeah. But we're also going to try and paint the picture of how SEO has changed over Definitely. the last year. It's changed a lot. Sure. And also what we can expect in the near future from SEO, from copy, from listings on Amazon in general. So first to start off, though, let's talk about you, okay? So <laughs> so how did you – SEO is a really complex thing. How did you first get into SEO? How did you get yeah, into copy? Yeah, sure. So around like six or seven years ago, I worked under like a nine-figure seller. So I just worked in-house. I helped them like optimize their listings just slowly, slowly. Um, and then I just like – it became such a big interest in me. So I just started like researching and like – actually studying the algorithm and like seeing how it works. So over the course of time, it just like made it like something myself. Uh, my background is like marketing and branding, sure. you know? So I was like, you know, let me just implement that in like everyday life. So I started my own agency uh, nice. where we help like people uh, like launch products and like create listings from scratch and optimize them. So combining both that together, so I studied the algorithm very, very in detail and uh, kind of brought me where I am today. So you did your homework. Yeah, uh, you definitely. Sure. <laughs> okay. So Specific, let's talk about core principles that people can implement to improve SEO, right? Sure. I mean, that, that's a big nut to crack, SEO ranking on Amazon. If you could if you could snap your fingers and improve ranking through SEO just really simply, I mean, people would be really appreciative of that. Let's break down the core principles behind what people can do to improve their SEO, their ranking on For Amazon. For sure. The SEO is like crazy on Amazon. Amazon as its own world. So a lot of things that would work on Google wouldn't necessarily work on Amazon. That That's like its whole, it's called the A9 algorithm. I'm sure. sure. Everyone's uh, familiar with it. Uh, the buzzword. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but there's, there's things you could do that are small or so big that could help improve your listing. So for example, a quick thing that everyone knows that you could do, um, and many of my clients just get tons of sales just by doing this is obviously the misspellings, but underrated if you put Spanish keywords in the back end of your listing, back end. that will definitely uh, increase your, your ranking and index you because you have to keep in mind people do speak another language. Sure. And you're, you know you don't think of it, but a lot of people just get sales just based off doing something so small like that. Are these, so Spanish words, are these primary keywords? Like what, what level yeah, are you pulling? Yeah, it could be anything. It could be anything. But yeah, the, even the primary keywords, just have it translate into Spanish in your back end keywords. Uh, that's great. Another cool tip that uh, a lot of people do is, and I'll, I'll talk about like the title and bullet points sure. afterwards, sure. but uh, a very cool idea is that whenever you upload your images, if you name the, the file, um, the keyword that you yeah, want to yeah, rank yeah. for, it does actually, it actually, does it actually so, make a difference? I mean, so as you said before, the algorithm and SEO changes so often, sure. it did work. We, we've seen it. There's no real way to know for sure. Um, but it's definitely, you know, it's yeah, been noticeable it's, enough. Yeah, I noticed for, for, well enough. It I doesn't mean, hurt, right? Exactly. Like, it doesn't hurt at all. But yeah, Amazon changes their SEO and their algorithm very, you know, very often. So let's, uh, I want, I'm curious to catch up on the, the core of where like the title, the bullet points, the description are right now in terms of how they contribute, sure. how they're weighted yeah, across okay. ranking. So uh, it's very important. This is like a whole topic in itself. It is. It really to, like, is. Sum we're, it up. we're doing the Spark Notes version here. <laughs> okay. For the Spark Notes version. I mean, it's very important that you have all your keywords, but at the same time, making sure you don't keyword stuff. If you're just going to put like the same keyword in your title bullet point description a million times, Amazon actually uh, overlooks it. They don't even index you for those keywords. Mm. So you have to be careful not to overstuff those, you know, a lot of the keywords in your, in your listing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And how how are how is the title weighted right now compared to like bullet points in the description? So, okay, the title is very important, but a lot of different categories have limited characters. I don't know what you're supposed to do there. Common mistake I see people doing is putting their brand name and then writing the product. But no, honestly, if you're not a huge brand name yet, although you think you are, but if you're not a huge like Clorox or something, sure. no one's looking for your brand name. I you know just yet. So it's very important to put what your product is, you know, in the first word or two in your listing. Because that's what people are looking for. And then Amazon displays your, your brand name afterwards. So. Sure. Okay. Okay. What What are you doing to find the best keyword? I know there are a lot of tools it's out there, so right? It's so hard. It, it really is. So I, that, I, I would assume that's probably one of the most important things that yeah. comes down to the words that you use in your listing, right? So what are you using to find those right keywords? I mean, there's many different softwares out there, but I would say is just look at the relevancy and kind of put them together. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, what they do is is also compare it to like PPC and like get like different reports and kind of just 
have to bundle together because some keywords just wouldn't even make sense in your listing. So sure. it's a little bit hard to do, but I guess, you know, once you find those keywords, your main keywords, um, which brings us into a whole nother discussion in itself. <laughs> no, because like whenever we, we launch products, people ask like, should we launch um, a product with a main keyword and then later on go for the smaller ones or should we start small and go big? So what's the answer? To that okay, question? so it, it, honestly, <laughs> it's complex. It, it's I, complex. It, is, it is complex, but I say it's kind of based on your budget somehow because I'll tell you the pros and cons. The okay. pros are that, like, if you go for the largest keyword, it's going to be like a lot of giveaways or, or whatever it is at once. Sure. But the benefit is that all the small keywords organically come with it. Um, as opposed to doing a bunch of small keywords, um, you're going to get indexed and you're going to own more real estate. And then eventually, once you're ready to rank for the huge keyword, you're already indexed for it and you're probably on page four and just need the smaller push. So if you ask me, probably the second The second, option, you're a fan of the second one. Yeah, okay. it's, it's probably easier. There's probably right? a little bit more risk associated with the first one. Yeah, um, doing so many giveaways for an amount of time. Right. Depends on the spread in terms of uh, the, the the market itself, the spread of how, how far apart that top exactly. keyword yeah, is from those true. micro keywords. Yeah. What are some of the top mistakes that you see? You, you said you have clients. So yeah, you, you help sure. people improve their, 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 SEO, things, their yeah. listing. So what are the top some of the top mistakes that you see happening in this people space? People underrate their hero image, the main image. People think like, I'll just put something up. It's so important because you have to understand. First of all, you are searching. You want them to click on your listing and no one first. has their product in hand. So you first need to do something that gets people to click on your listing. And then obviously the secondary thing is infographics. It's so, I can't stress enough, I have people who spend thousands of dollars on photography and infographics, um, because it's so true. You need to, you are very visual, you need to sell them. No one's gonna sit there and read your description. No one's, you barely be yeah, reading yeah. the bullet points, you yeah. know? Interesting. Yeah. Um, so, okay, let's let's get into a little bit of how things have changed this okay. year specifically. 2021, yeah. like you said, they're changing all the time. So what were some of the biggest changes that were made to the SEO game, the copy game on Amazon this past year? So uh, I'm trying to think in specific what has changed. Um, I know Amazon has started cracking down on a lot of things that people used to do, like little tricks and stuff like that. Um, in general, in this past year, I can't think of it right offhand, sure, sure. you know. Uh, but I know in, in regards to reviews and, and all that kind of stuff, they've been very strict with reviews and removing, you know, even the things that are organic that are not incentivized, Amazon has just been removing a bunch of reviews recently. Interesting. So what about the, the near future? What you, you can speculate here, yeah. right? So maybe it's just based on what you've seen. What changes do you think are going to come in in SEO and copy? Do you think there are going to? Do you think Amazon's going to keep things relatively the same macro wise in terms of the most important things? Like they'll keep the same, or do you think big changes are going to come over the next couple of years? So I think a bit of both. I mean, I've been hearing that uh, officially the A10 algorithm is supposed to be coming out soon. Um, and if it hasn't come out already, then you would assume it will be a very big change. Uh, I actually, you know, it, now that I think of it, it might be a very big change because Amazon has so much data and they're just adding and adding. So I think, you know, if it haven't came out with A10 until now, it should be. Dude, A9, A9 is the buzzword, man. Yeah, A10 is the new, it's exactly, going to be the new buzzword. The new, yeah. So what do you think A10 is going to bring? Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, speculate, it's, speculate. It's I'm hard curious. to say. I mean, I've heard that people said that the reviews might not be as relevant anymore when people might be shopping. Which is hard to believe, but um, yeah, I, I've heard that. Interesting. So reviews. What else? Might, yeah, might not be as might not be as important. I'm just trying to think. Maybe maybe Amazon's going to help with you know with ranking and SEO. Sure. Different than just doing PPC because it's very hard. Like the one question I get asked very often is like, okay, how do I get reviews on Amazon? Like, no. You have to sell products. So how do I sell products? You need reviews. <laughs> it's just a catch twenty two go in sure. circles. So it's very hard. There's no. Do you real see a solution that. coming out for that? Do you so think? That's what or? I'm hoping. I mean, I know Amazon has been flexible, but they came out with an early reviewer program, but then they shut it sure. down. Sure. So like, where, where do you, and then if you incentivize someone, you can't do friends and family. What are you supposed to do? I could ask you the magic question of what you do, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we don't have to get into that. That's a whole other discussion. So good. Um, any last thoughts? For, for So my mind goes to just being here at Prosper, what this means for the e-commerce community. I kind of want to talk about that just briefly. Like, what, what do you think this, after this, Prosper 2021, we've gotten together, the community's gotten together here for the first time in a while. Yeah. It feels like the community's pushed through a lot to get here. For sure. And it's changed a lot. Like, I'm sure you've seen, just even looking at the booths themselves, like how the booths themselves have changed over the years That's, of Amazon yeah. e-commerce is an indicator to me of how much this space has changed so much. What what does 
prosper beyond in-person events like this mean for the future of the community itself? I mean, it's bringing a lot of people closer together. I, I feel, kind of feel like a family. Like, I, it's funny. Yesterday, someone mentions like, I've seen people, like everyone hugs each other now. No one even gives like it's a It's so shake, true. You know? It's true. Everyone's just like, I'm like, it's chill. It's cool. Like, everyone feels like, you know what? We've all been through a hard year. So, like, we're all Absolutely. on the same level. We're all starting off the same. And, like, everyone just family want to help each other out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Well, Mark, how can people get in touch with you? If they want to learn more about SEO, copy, sure. what, what you help people so with. So, very your simple website, AmazonSEO.com. <laughs> wow, that's some good SEO right yeah. there. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Well, Mark, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. And uh, it's glad to have you here. I'm glad we could actually meet in person yeah, and do exactly. an interview like this. Thankful for the event, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So thanks. We'll thank talk you. soon. Yeah.